Good evening. My name is Anthony Powell. I'm a military historian and also a collector. I've been at this for a little over 30 years. I have the largest collection of African American military memorabilia in the country. And I am the curator of the Buffalo Soldiers National Museum of Houston, Texas. How I got started in collecting militaria uh, was through my grandfather, who served as a soldier for 40 years from the age of 13 and a half until he retired in 1927. Um, the unique thing about him was the fact that my grandfather learned the art of photography at an early age when he joined the Army in 1887. And I had the opportunity and the advantage of being raised by my grandparents and I lived around all of these wonderful photographs and artifacts that my grandfather collected over the course of his many, many years in the military. My grandfather, his name was Samuel Nathaniel Waller. He was born outside of Memphis, Tennessee in 1874. My grandfather was an orphan. He talked his way into the Army in 1887 at the age of 13 and a half. My grandfather, while stationed at Fort Robinson, Nebraska with the 9th Cavalry, was befriended by the post photographer who was a German immigrant Civil War veteran who took a liking to my grandfather and taught him a very important art, the art of photography. And over the next 40 years, my grandfather and his 1888 Rochester camera would literally travel around the world, taking photographs, collecting images of almost a forgotten part of American history if it had not been for his photography taken over the course of his 40 years in the military. Today I brought pieces of my world's largest collection of African American military history. For instance, the uniform right here belonged to the third black chaplain in the United States Army. His name was Theophilus Stewart. He served from the early 1890s until he retired in 1908. This is his undress blue uniform. There's a picture of him in that uniform that you can see. I'm also going to share with you um, some artifacts of a California chaplain. His name was Alan Allensworth, who was, believe it or not, the second African American chaplain in the United States Army. And in California, there's a town that he founded named Allensworth, California, that's still a going town today. Now, Allensworth was a unique individual because he served as a sailor during the Civil War, and inside this little case, you see his Civil War medal, his uh, Spanish-American War medal, and his Philippine campaign medal. Allensworth uh, would uh, pass away in 1914, but he was an educator and a minister beyond compare. A product of one of uh, my traveling exhibits was this book, a postcard book called Buffalo Soldiers. And the exhibit was at the Schomburg Museum in New York City a couple of years ago. And as I said, this was the product of that exhibit. And it was something that exhibit viewers had an opportunity of taking away with them as mementos of this very rare exhibition. One of the biggest concerns that I've had over recent years is the preservation of all of the artifacts that I've been able to collect. And for the first time, I understood that in order for all of these things to be perpetuated for future generations, we had to have some place for them to go. And so what I started personally doing was just looking throughout the country for an institution or an organization that would conserve and preserve all of the history that had been collected by me and so many other people over the course of my research. What you have just seen is a glimpse of the many wonderful things that we plan to do in the future 
with this part of American history. In collaboration with the Buffalo Soldiers Museum and people like you, we can continue the story and the saga for next generations.